All right, we're getting into it. This is Hell to qualify yeah. for go. top eight melee singles through loser side. Spark and Aklo booting up that, that Sheik Fox. Aklo <laughs> rocking the, the Aklo tag. The crowd is tag. cheering just because there's gameplay again. <laughs> Do you think uh, Aklo rocking the Aklo tag is similar to someone rocking the self tag? In a, in a very different, there's a huge different tone to it. Like it's, it's less of the like, ah, uh, this is about like self-improvement and we're like, I, it's me. <laughs> What's up? Oh, what, just, uh, what? They're this? just scrapping right now. What is going on with the jab? I mean, it, it worked. Jab, jab, move, jab, jab. Yeah. Anti jab. Converted into a stock, yeah, yeah. Just jab, move forward, jab, move forward. Yep. And then there you said, the light shield on platform. It takes some time to think. He actually got the laser. Yeah, it was, Spark was just using the entire Halo time to just be like, okay, you actually just gonna sit there and light shield yeah. the entire time, or what are we gonna do here? But also, like, I'm, I gotta chill. Oh, Spark you can't be missing those. Yeah, but Spark is always good about, like, okay, if something happened, I need to reset, I need to just take some time to think. Let's wait on the angel flat, let's do whatever I need. Calm down, what, what was the thing? Let's think about this for, like, the game gives you a couple seconds, and you should use them. Yeah, and we saw it a lot in Spark's winner side set, where he gets the looks, gets the opportunities. We're, we're doing the exact same thing again, Aklo. Like, I'm gonna jab into you, jab into you. What is going on? This is the most jab They're both smiling game at each other. Why? <laughs> I mean, right, does it work this time, though? I mean, I get it. You can't, you can't DI out in the right kind of way. Oh, no! Aklo jumped and <laughs> took himself off the top. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I don't you even know what to say on that. Yeah, this is a... This is a wacky game right yeah. now. Deconstructed melees going on here, and... Uh, Turns out they warmed up too much. Yeah. They've seen into the future. This is... They're in the fifth dimension right now. 2027, this is all you're going to see with the Sheik Fox matchup. It's just jab approach. <laughs> it's throw it's a random laser. Jab, SDI jab. Find your next opening. But I think the name of the game we were trying to get to before a lot of the shenanigans happen is Spark gets the good looks in neutral. Like, yeah. he, he's getting plus options, but he's not finishing once he gets that good option. We saw the misfair earlier on that first stock. A lot of it comes down to edge guard situations. Um, and right here, Aklo, on the opposite, is totally taking advantage of advantage position. The edge guarding has been crisp. I hope that uh, side B edge cancel waits for five seconds without moving again and then jump side B edge cancel yeah. again. Oh, no, oh, Spark. Dear. Hey. Yeah, you get a little miss tech. Yeah. And you have to wonder, we, we said that like they are, they are physically have, have warmed up again. But if you thought you were going to play 40 minutes ago, there's also the element of, like, mentality. Like, am I as focused as I was then? You're just thinking. Yeah. There, there's so much going on with, the, like, the competitive mindset. Yeah, and we see Spark doing the thing that he does. Yeah. Immediately charging Evil on platform. Yeah. You don't Fox can't punish it as easy. Oh, I actually like that option there. Lay it out for me. The, it was the, the empty grab into knowing Aklo is going to uh, break out. Yes. But the breakout trajectory Goes will to move to yeah. an edge guard situation. Exactly. That's crazy. See, whether he's on the ledge or he's, you know, actually has to get there first, that's still an advantage for you. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! You're I mean, talking about it. The edge cancel into immediate up air. I still think you could just get there anyways. But why not do it that way? <laughs> My man's just perfect pivoting. This is, Aklo is feeling good movement-wise at a minimum. Yes. It's, it, we've got the, the weird shenanigans going on. This doesn't feel like a standard set, but they're doing stuff at least. Yeah, Spark, you can't be missing those back airs. Okay, just taps the shield, taps it again. Yeah, it gets reversal, and now we're back. Edge guard. Uh, Spark's going to read you've it been, after the done, third time. You've done so many edge cancels. I'm just back airing this one. I, I'm not putting myself in the bath. Yeah, and he uses it to get back to safety, and that's probably how it's going to have to be used the rest of the time. Yeah. I guess if you have a stock advantage, you could still use it in a risky, aggressive manner, but Spark's going to be quick enough on reaction time to just be like, okay, you're going to side B. I'm just going to block yeah. this edge cancel. You, you can do the defensive ones. Big charge. Made a huge gamble. Like, oh. I don't think you're going to ledge. Yeah, that I don't was think crazy. You're doing it. Yeah, that was a little mind control there, too, because he wanted to try to get the platform, but it's just too high. Nope. Aklo kind of getting stuck on top lap, but <laughs> just drops down, holds Shine. The third time we've seen Shine being, or I think second time we've seen Shine being just deleted, reflects needles. 
Yeah, I mean, I guess it's just pure defensive play shift up here. Dropping a lot of lasers, approaches in center when it makes sense in neutral, gets the grab, what do you do here? Ooh, nice reversal option from Zade, but it's not gonna do anything. No, no, that's the problem, is that, that reversal option, because he carried the momentum forward, meant that he was under the ledge and just literally cut all options off from himself. All right, we should be in the spark show right now. This is where he absolutely, oh my God, he doesn't even shine. Something, Aklo's mashing. Off. I think that was a one pummel situation, and then yeah. it was perfect mash out right after. Yeah, but I, I think this is what we were saying. Double proof. No, exactly. Just something hold. Is, yeah. Something is wrong right now. I don't think it's controller. I don't think it's setup. I, I think this is the like I was so prepared to play for 40 minutes, and now I'm just like I have to get back into this. The thing is, they both were in that situation. What is going on? They both were in that situation. He immediately just, checked menu, maybe to see if pause was on. I don't, no, they're, they're on Switch Live. Uh, I think this thank you for your patience is just from the last oh, okay. thing. That the, the thank you for your patience was because it hadn't been swapped out of that scene yet. That oh my god. Or we just looks so thinking, warm. We're still thanking them for their patience from earlier. That's actually the break that Spark needed. Uh, like, he just needed to hold and somehow Aklo just drops down. Didn't get it, but that's like the type of break that really shift things up. Yeah, yeah I think something's looking. I, I don't know if it is like, I, I just cannot focus anymore. No. I, the, the mental shift. It's like, it seems like everything's fine with TV. It seems like everything's fine with controllers. It's, it's purely a, like, I'm, I'm missing something. Which is unfortunate to see at oh, this yeah. point, but yep. Aklo still has a job to finish here in game three. So let's drop to finish. And Spark absolutely could, you know, turn the ship around. But oh, yeah. Writing the ship is mighty hard when the, the flow is just not in your favor right now. Yeah, the, the recovery is just oh, redundant uh, almost. Uh, it's one of the, it's very rare that I watch a ship game play and I'm like, oh, being off stage is dangerous for you. Yeah. Not, not recovery, but be like, he's missing edge guards. He's putting himself in yeah. rough spots. He's doing... Something is going. Like when I see both of them off stage, I'm usually worried for the spacey. It's yeah. the complete opposite here. Mm -hmm. Waits. Oh, down tilt. yeah, running down tilt. Oh my gosh, good. yeah, the runoff shine. Okay. Yeah, refreshes. Yeah, let's play it safe there. That should be it. No, never mind. I thought we were just going high. Ah, oh, he just wanted to go the rinse and repeat there. Did it a little bit too early. Yeah, a little bit preemptive. Yeah. Absolutely demolished. All right, do you go to that platform, Aklo? What do you do? Uh, Spark is looking down. He's, he's wiping the sweat off. But you're, you're looking down the barrel of the gun at this point. You're down four stocks to one. And this isn't even a situation that sounds. Yeah, like, at the level of play that, uh, that Spark has been demonstrating so far, even the simplest of edge guards when he's on fire is something that's hard yeah. to convert. And that's why we're saying, like, this is normally the stuff that we're like, oh, yeah, Spark does that every day of the week. Yeah. So. Yo. Yeah, like, like just. Again, something. Yeah, I'm glad he cleaned it up without taking too much damage. Though. Yeah, it always starts with one if it is possible. Just holding. That's the fourth time that you noted it previously. Oh, nice call out there. Yeah, it's just percent. Sets up kill percent. <laughs> Realistically, just an empty grab here could yeah. lead into the set. Even, even outside of these edge guards. Oh, like, the read! Yeah. Wow. I mean, I want to say, like, huge congrats to, to Aklo for qualifying for top eight. That is amazing. With this, this is a very hard tournament. I don't want to... It, it's the, like, I don't want to take that away from Spark of, like, clearly something was off. Yeah. Uh, again, we, we double checked everything. The players made sure, like, yes, the setup was good. We're able to do our stuff, but like, there, there's only so much of it that is setup and hardware related. Yeah. There's so much that is. You take anybody in any amount of competition, and you're like, all right, get ready to play. You're gonna play this time. It's now. Never mind tech issue. It's 40 minutes later. Like, getting yourself back into that frame is it's very difficult. And, and that's the want to say like huge. Congratulations to Aklo on being able to make sure that he's still in that. Because they both had to fight that same that same problem, that same issue. Yeah, I want to pull up the bracket to see what we're looking at here now, since I actually think we are fully shaped up to see who will play who. Yes. Aklo is now 
talking to production still, so I, I think we're trying to double check something. I see Beckvin sitting down, uh, which should be Beckvin Josh Man. Yep. Sad. So yeah, just to reiterate here, we have Zane and SFOP. If yep. you're tuning in late, or if you just haven't checked yet, or if you forgot, we have Zane and SFOP, winner semis, top half. Bottom half of that winner semis is Mango HBox. Absolutely. Rivalry upon rivalry. And then when we drop down to losers, ah, the bracket isn't updated yet. <laughs> Let me do some math. Um, top 16 won. Let's see who advances top side. I mean, you can go to the... the I just have to go to the yeah. last one to see who faces yeah, exactly. Lucky. Yeah. Because there was the, the weird issue where uh, Jamie, Jamie just wasn't yeah. here. So we're trying to figure out what's going on. Let's see. Beckton City, man. I haven't seen Josh Man in the sack. Uh, I think Josh Man was downstairs when we were there. Okay. He was in the, the VIP room. Yeah. Back. Yeah, that's kind of like thinking about it. I don't know for sure if this is the case with Beckvin, but he might have been so lowly seated for this event that he might not have been deemed a VIP, so he might have genuinely been warming up here because he couldn't get into the VIP room. I think if he... I don't care <laughs> where you were seated. If you are, if you made it, you qualify. I don't think that's the issue. I also think there's part of it that's like, I just want to make sure I'm in the venue. I'd rather warm sure. up up here. Yeah. There's Joshy. But th there's the aspect of like... I want to. I want to be in the room. I want to. I feel more comfortable, even if I'm like it's a one-minute walk of just like I know I'm already there. I'm already ready. Just gotta walk two feet to the other side. Yeah, okay. and you know when you have like you don't have any of that delay. Yep. Um. So yeah. Okay. Confirmation now on the loser side. Um. For sure, a match that will be occurring in top eight is Aklo Moki. Nice. Which is okay. crazy. Once again, we were talking about like those previous sets should be yeah. like the what we just saw with Spark Aklo could be winner yep. side top eight. And then it will be Lucky versus the winner of this. Yep. And as we said, this is going to be Beckvin Joshman. I think at this point, Joshman needs no introduction, especially if you're on Mango Stream watching this. Uh, phenomenal player has moved here from Australia uh, and is doing Living in work. LA now? Uh, I believe so. Yeah. yeah. He's went to Canada and then moved down. Uh, Beckvin is the local hero in this, in this trying to fight for this top eight. Uh, phenomenal player has, has done very well online. Uh, if you've seen any like the Waddle Wednesdays mm -hmm. results pages, you see Beckman's name all the time. And often over top 100 players, very very good players, uh, but hasn't had really the opportunity to show that on a larger national stage. Uh, yeah, I think something to note in terms of gameplay options I've been seeing this weekend from Beckvin. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of it has been like confidence in the handoff in center stage. Which not being worried about, I mean, and so we have hard. an ICs expert here. Can you explain to the chat, yeah. like, why center stage or where on the stage matters for where you get your yes. grab? So, so it's going to be Fox versus Ice Climbers. For ICs, if you get that grab, we, we see a lot of, like, you know, it's the super long extended handoffs. Those only work if you're by the ledge or if you're by the edge of the platform uh, because Nana will always throw towards the closest ledge in that case. If you're in the middle of the stage, though, it's literally RNG. It could be up throw, it could be down throw, it could be back, it could be forward, and you don't know how many times she's going to pummel. So there's times where it's like, oh, cool, I got this, and Nana's like, I'm going to pummel way too many times, and now my opponent mashed out. Like, there's a lot. Uh, the only guaranteed three grabs off of that are off of down throw and forward throw, but that's why you see the people who are really good are able to do things where they're like, I'm going to cover at least two, yep. like half the options by moving into this spot, or I'm going to do this thing. Uh, Beckvin especially is phenomenal at the recognizing super quickly which option she's starting to do and just being like, oh, she's back throwing. I'm going to wave dash all the way over there. It's so hard to react to yep. that. That is not an easy thing to do because you are sitting there trying to manage four different options in your head. So anytime someone's like, oh, dude, this person was wobbling in mid stage, I'm like, they won. No. Wobbling literally doesn't work anymore. Not that just like, oh, it's banned, but if you're playing online, wobbling literally doesn't work. But two, if they were not on the ledge, that was all reads yep. or all reaction crazy or reactions. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Beckman does a lot of the uh, on smaller stages too, like similar to like what Fly Amanita used to do back in the day, yeah. is reading the back throw, like almost intentionally reading the bad Nana options to cover and make it good options. Sure. So you could go on platform, wave land, yeah. maybe, maybe get a regrab, maybe get a smash attack yeah. in. Um, I will say something to note is Beckman knows all the crazy stuff to do on edge guards, but a lot of them weren't hitting yesterday. 
That is the problem with ICC. Yeah, sometimes. so you get like the you double. You get the double coverage where you have uh, Sopo or Nana covering the ledge, and you're covering yeah. the other option or covering the platform recovery. Yeah, and we'll, it was we'll just similar. We're going to see a lot of slip bombs. That yeah. Kind of thing. yeah. Um, he was also really good at uh, doing ice block maneuvers. Sure. So if he got uh, got like that perfect ice block height where you have the desync and you could get the two alternate really yep. annoying ledge refresh ones, he'll just spam them because why not? Yeah. Yep. I, I mean, <laughs> genuinely, there's some characters that that just works really well against. Uh, I mean, the, the curse of the character is, especially in this matchup, like something that I know Josh Man is good against. And this is not a, like, ooh, it's Josh Man practice. Like, Josh Man's good. Uh, he's beaten some very good ICs. Uh, ice climbers have that effect of, like, when they're in control, they are in control, and they are dominant. And when they are getting pushed to the edge, they look off. Yeah. <laughs> and so it's, it's that huge risk, huge reward. But even with that, it's the... If you're not super precisely spaced on certain stages, one Fox Shine can lead to Nana's death every time. Oh yeah, it is. It's not the only one, but like on Yoshi's, Yoshi's often is an auto ban in best of threes because uh, Fox can kill Nana with two shines anywhere on stage. Yep, does not matter where. There are guaranteed follow-ups, and I know Josh knows that. And that is the, the thing that makes me go from a like, oh, this could be like difficult to like, oh, this is going to be really hard. Yeah, I think everyone's seen how like fast the. fast you're able to kill Nana, make sure, like, force Becton to play a Sobo as much as possible. That is your, your goal, but make sure you're not tunneling. You're basically playing like a double set the entire time of like, just in case, I do need to remember where the other climber is, because I could get hit real hard while trying to do this. Yeah, in split situation, Beckfin usually is a, I want to save Nana at most cost um, not individual. At all. Yeah. Not at all. Um, but also, I would say his Sopo is genuinely Sopo's one of the best I've good. seen. So it's kind of funny where you'll put yourself out of the way to try to save Nana. But like, if Nana's gone, like I'm so good. Yeah. The uh, the other thing I'm looking at is you were talking about Josh is basically playing a doubles match the entire set, and Ice Climbers players, if they're in control, are really good at making the person they're playing against like almost be always in a decision tree yes. where it's okay. I got Nana all the way over here, and you're over here. Who do I commit yeah. to? And a lot of the time, if they'll try to do both. And it both is bad. <laughs> yeah. But the do I do one? The things I look for is do they know the Nana kills? Because most characters have ways that are like, if I do this, Nana will die every time. Because she's just a computer that you can literally. It's not the like, oh, I hit the ed edge guard. It's like no, she will always double jump back to stage. Yep. So Fox can just sit there and shine. And you know, I see someone throw themselves off stage to kill Nana. I'm like, uh oh. You are you are not ready for this right now. Yeah, you have like that the, the whatever depending on where you do yeah. what to Nana, it's always but, the same but thing. But there's always that that mental math that the other person has to make of I've separated Nana. Should I just rack up damage on her and kill her, so, or rack up damage so that next time I hit their split? Yep. Or there's a lot of people who are like, oh, I need to do this. But I've I've also seen people go for a Nana kill, and I'm like, you literally just had a guaranteed kill on yep. Sopo on Popo. Like, why why are we doing this? Yeah. Yeah, so. uh, I think Junebug went into this recently in one of his videos on like Donkey Kong's tier list potential and how on land Donkey Kong as a character is buffed because the yes. execution level is so low. I think Ice Climbers players at a similar skill level to their opponent are almost adding like external factors to the gameplay that you don't yeah. have against any other opponent. Where now Josh Man has to play good. Like fundamentally, he has to play good to win this set. But now he also has to be thinking about different situations depending on where the ice climbers are if they're split what percentages am i racking on them yeah this is a it's one of the, the <laughs> matchups that no matter what character josh is just looking at us <laughs> the more we look at josh the more awkward he feels it's great <laughs> <laughs> just staring right at him all right uh, yeah, it's one of those matchups where, like, especially if the ICS has, like, a ton of desync, like, especially the weird desyncs, not just spot dodge, not just, like, yeah.